Okay, this is how well you record stuff. Did you let me find it? Is that your net? <laughs> preparing for my first live interview and there's the other ambulance that's been converted in my small town. This fellow actually uses it for his lock shop. I've seen one other one in town that has no descriptions on it and I don't know what it's used for. Kind of interesting though. There's more and more of us. Just starting on this fly by the seat of my pants journey. Don't know how long it's gonna last. But I'm just fueling up some diesel. Added a fuel diesel additive that's hopefully gonna help things. And just enjoy each day as it comes. And I put in 154 liters and we had gone 751 kilometers. So miles per gallon, I worked out to about 12 miles per gallon, which is less than it was the last two trips. Mind you, we were in. That is a dead fish floating there. And there's a few others out here. There's another one floating right there. Well, I'm sure glad we didn't put in for reservation. Could you imagine them? You don't want to swim with the fishes, literally? <laughs> Sometimes that's what happens when you fly by the seat of your pants. You pull up to a beach that has five dead fish floating it that I counted. <laughs> I think we're gonna go somewhere else. Mom, it's the last day of July and there's our evidence that winter is coming. The leaves are already turning color. So here we're coming up to the Dog Beach Swim Area, which is new in at least the last two ye years. And then we're going to hike the Trans-Canada Trail. Raspberries, just coming in season. So there used to be a homestead back in here. So as we've been going down the Trans-Canada Trail, we're coming into a more sandy area right along the beach. So there was a series of sand dunes that we were walking up and down and now that there's this step part it's going to take us to the lookout point. There's sections of purple sand. 
finally out again. It started pouring on us. Scared. Yeah. There she goes. with the bark down. sleeping in the tent last night so that uh, we had a little more room and not tripping on each other and I had been pretty hot so I wanted to be cooler in the tent and um, I woke up this morning to my poor little mama sitting outside on the lawn chair with no coffee. She tried to make the coffee. It's 700 watts and the inverter was beep beep beeping. Um, for some reason we didn't charge when we were driving and stuff yesterday and the solar should have been enough to bring it up. So I pulled some stuff apart this morning and one of the solar panels had disconnected from the hub that I had both panels connected to. And already I can see that the numbers are going up on the battery. So that's good. We're gonna have be able to make another pot of coffee this morning. But um, I gotta figure out why I'm not charging from the alternator. Being the long weekend, Monday's a holiday here in Canada. We, um, didn't plan ahead and book a site at any of the campgrounds. So we found this community near where we spent today. So we're at a little community campground that says it has wood, which is in this building that is completely empty. So being the resourceful woman that I am, I walked around picking up all the dead branches, started myself one heck of a fire.
just going to walk across in front of us. I wish I could hold this steadier. You are in bear country. 